Stop using variables. Let me give you one good reason why variables tend to be a little obsolete in many cases when put into comparison with a list. So I've made this argument before, but I want to make I want to give it its own video because I think it's an important thing to mention. Now, I'm not saying you should never use variables because variables definitely have their uses, but I think lists are better in almost every single way. And in this video, I'm going to prove to you why that is the case. In case you're wondering why I don't have a face cam on, it's because it's kind of a tutorial video. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop doing my I'm going to stop putting my face in tutorials. I don't know why I'm still looking at the camera. You can't see me. But so let me show you just something basic of a variable does, right? You make a variable, say it's like a score, right? And say that whenever you press the space key, the score changes by one, right? So whenever you start this up, your score will be zero. And then when you click it, when you click space, it'll increase by one, right? Awesome, super, super easy, right? You love to see it. So, now let me tell you why this is dumb, because what if you want two scores? If you want two scores, well then it's just gonna start getting messy, and look at that, you already have two variables in here. And if you have a bunch of these things that you need to keep track of, you're gonna have a lot of variables and it's gonna get messy. So let me show you why a list would do better. A list inherently does the exact same thing that a variable does, except you can hold in vanilla scratch 200,000 variables in one list. So make a list and we can call this, just, I'm just gonna call it info, right? So what I'd recommend doing is making a comment and just listing what each thing's gonna be. So one is that score that we came up with and two can be that score number two or whatever you happen to have it, right? Just just to keep this in mind, maybe you wanna maybe you wanna like label this, right? Maybe you wanna label this uh, info list, just so you know which list it is if you have multiple. So you have your info list. Boom, here it is. What you can do is you can run this this right here. Run a green flag click, delete all of info, and then however many things in info you have, for in my case right now it's two, you might have more. So then you just do like a repeat and you put however many you have in there. And then you'd say like add a zero to info. So you press that, boom, it adds two thing, it adds two um, channels to info. But you can also refer to these, just think of these things as a variable. Now, again, when you press space, right, score, this first one needs to change. So what you can do is you can just come here and hit replace item one, because one is our score, right, of info with Come to operators, grab this little plus and slap that in there. Come here, just grab item one, which again is our score of info plus one. And that does the exact same thing. See, now when I press space, look at that, it increases. And that's, and, and both of these are stored in just one thing instead of two things, right? And then again, if, if I did this and I had like the up arrow change item two of info with two, now, when I start and I press space, that goes up and I press the up arrow, the second one goes up and I can do both of these uh, simultaneously, right? And you can add this infinite things, infinite things. All you need to do, seriously, I'm pretty sure this can go up to 200,000. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 200,000. I don't think it can go any higher than that. I think Vanilla Scratch just lets 200,000. Yeah, 200,000 is the max. But if you're using something like Turbo Warp, which like on Turbo Warp, you can make that number infinite and the length can go on forever. But if you're just using vanilla Scratch, just normal Scratch, no Scratch add-ons, no Turbo Warp, you can, in, in theory, have 2,000 variables in one list. I don't know why you'd have that many variables in general, but you can, right? The only reason I would say use a variable is if you want to have, like, health because then, you know... If you have a sprite, right, and you make that, you can click for the sprite only. But here's the catch. You can do that with a list, too, and it'll have pretty much the an, an identical effect. So you have no reason to use a variable. The only reason you should use a variable in vanilla Scratch is if it's cloud. 
right? Just use a cloud variable. That'd be like the only reason I can think of vanilla scratch that you really need to use a variable. Because here's an example. Say you needed to check something, right? Say you needed to check like something like this, right? Well, how do you check if your score is greater than it, right? You just do item one of info or whatever it need to be. And then it just check it. It's the same thing as plugging the variable in. It's uh, why stop using variables. If you're using variables for like every project and, and you have like multiple variables, if your whole project, if your project, if I look at your project and I'm seeing, and I'm seeing this, if I'm seeing this on your projects, I'm going to, I'm going to come up to you and I'm going to like eat, I'm going to like eat your face. I'm going to eat your face. I'm going to put your face in my mouth and I'm going to chew it up and I'm going to swallow it. This, this. This garbage that you got going on right here makes me want to die. There, it makes me so mad. This looks disgusting. And again, when you get enough going, when you get enough going, this looks awful. This looks so bad. Why would you want to siphon through this? Like, like holy crap. And if you have some that are for this sprite only, and you don't have scratch add-ons where you can just where you can like split them apart, I'd go mental. I would die. I would probably blow my face out the back of my skull. Let me show you an example of how I use this right here. This right here is my game when the world ended. Play the Turbo Warp version. Don't don't play this version. This version doesn't have all the updates in. But if you take a look at my backdrops, boom, boom. Here, this is what I did. This is what I did. Here, in-game settings, there's 54 of them. I got 54 things in in this setting, and they all and they all act as variables, right? So like here I got in-game settings, here I got the bunker spawns, here I got some story settings, here I got account set, like your account stats, and it's, I, I have many lists, I have many, many lists that all do a bunch of things that are important, and yeah, you can make the argument, yeah, you got so many lists, if I really, really wanted to, I could compress all of these lists into one list, and it would have the exact same effect, I just chose to split them up, so it's a little bit easier on my brain, but like, I, I don't have that many variables, yes, this is a lot of variables, but again, every single one of these, except these cloud variables, every one, I could squish into a list, I could do it, I, I could, I just chose not to because it's a little easier on me, but I, I could, I could just take all of these and put them in one. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad when I see so many variables. I'm going to have a seizure and a stroke at the same time. I'm leaving the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it and like it, then like it, like it. And it's because I'm losing my mind. While you're at it, I want to subscribe to the channel. Join my content that helped me a lot. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.